What are you doing? Science! Today's video is sponsored by KiwiCo. In today's video, we are going to try a few experiments with the Kawanda effect. Guys, you may have seen some version of this at some point, maybe a ping pong ball hovering over a hair dryer, or something like that. The idea that a ball can just sort of hover on a flowing stream of air. And that's what we are going to play with today. This was inspired because I saw a video online of someone who had a basketball and a leaf blower, and they weren't just blowing the air straight up at it, but they had it at like- a, An angle. 45 degree angle. The basketball was just sort of hovering there, spinning, and they were able to just walk around with it. And that seemed like a lot of fun. So we're gonna be playing around with this, both at a smaller scale and at a larger scale. Here's the basic idea. We have several different round objects, a high-powered electric leaf blower, and a little bit of time on our hands. What can we do using the Kawanda effect, and what else can we balance in an air current? You have like the smallest, most lightweight thing possible, a ping pong, ping -pong ball, ball, all the way up to basketballs, miniature basketball, regular size. size. basketball. I, I can spin a book on my finger, but I, a ball I'm not really great at. Wiffle balls, really? Uh, pickle ball, this is actually a... Yeah, it's a little bit, it's like heavier these. than a wiffle ball. Yeah. Um, it's but I want to see if the holes, yeah, make any difference to it. We don't have another ball the same size to compare, but okay. we've got golf balls, which... Much heavier than a ping pong ball. About the same size, but way heavier. And then we also have this, which is a styrofoam ball, very similar in size to the basketball. This is not like as low density as the ping pong ball, but it is lighter weight than the basketball, so... I thought if we have some struggles with the basketball, maybe the styrofoam ball will be a good substitute. Then on this table with us, we also have a couple of kits from KiwiCo, the sponsor for today's video. Tinker crates. These are awesome. These are monthly kits that you subscribe to and you get delivered to your door and they have cool projects built right into them. So we're gonna be taking a look at these in a bit as well. So we saw that first demo of me just blowing on the ping pong ball, yep. got it to hover. Uh, like I said, that's not the most consistent stream of air. So let's try a couple mechanical things that are more consistent. Ah! I've never actually gotten this to work for me. You got it for a second though. <laughs> it did. The lipstick stuck it there for a sec. So, okay, now we're just trying to hit Mark. Sorry, Always. Mark. The first is our air compressor. That's going to give us very high pressure air, but rather low volume. We then have our shop vacuum, which is sort of a in-between. Yeah. Good amount of volume, medium amount of pressure. We've done some stuff with that. Yep. And then we've also got a leaf blower. Everything that we're using is gonna be kind of loud, so we are going to be wearing earplugs for most of the video today. And as a result of that, we apologize if the volume that we're speaking at is completely wrong. We might be whispering, we might be yelling, this has got to be great! There's a chance it's actually just going to launch the ping pong ball and it's not going to hover. Listen, that 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 actually sounds great to The me. hovering height is probably somewhere like, you know, in this range. Mm -hmm. Having here is going to have so much that it might just pop it up to the ceiling and it's going to go bouncing. But I am going to try Aim it. for Mark! Sounds fun. Oh, it worked. Yes! how to feel about this process. There you go. <laughs> Magic. This is lighter than a golf ball, definitely larger, but it does have holes in it. It's kind of doing the same bouncing thing that the golf ball was doing. So that waving back and forth is so interesting because you can see it starts to move, but it's just the air itself that stops it, catches it, and pulls it back. That's amazing that even after it loses stability, it regains stability. This is a compressor and it's currently set to about 120 PSI. Um, so. That's a lot more pressure, but it's a lot lower volume of air. So let's see what the difference is. I'm gonna start by not compressing it all the way. So it's only gonna be like a little bit of air. Even a little bit though, you can see. All right, then I'm just gonna open it as far as it goes. That seems so fast. 
watching the slow motion, I love that right away, I have the air at an angle and you can see the ball actually get pulled toward the air. It's at an angle and it moves, it jumps off of the Coca-Cola bottle that we had it resting on and into the stream of the air. So that kind of shows off the basis of how the whole Kawando effect works. The idea is that the fast moving air creates low pressure. We've talked about that before, that applies to several things. The Venturi effect uses that as well, where the sudden increase in speed in air creates low pressure. And in this case, it pulls other air into it. The air around the ball was getting pulled in and it pulled the ball with it. So air is going over it really fast and that pulls some air with it. But when it pulls the air, there's low pressure here because you just pulled all the air away from it. And so that pulls some air and you end up getting air that flows at this angle over the ball. And so you have low pressure over the ball lifting up. You have low pressure over here pulling the ball this direction. And just all of those low and then of course high pressure pushing down from this side, all of those forces end up being equal to the gravitational force pulling it down. So it's not just pushing up on it the whole time. If it was just pushing on it, it would push and then it would just kind of fall off at the top somewhere. But And if you set it into the jet stream in the wrong spot, it will do it that. Does. It doesn't catch the right way. Yeah, it has to get into that point where all of the air flow happens to be working to create just the right combination of high pressure and low pressure to hold the ball in place. And maybe more importantly, to pull other air around and then that low pressure pulling the air around, that is what holds it in place. It's pretty crazy stuff. This is a screwdriver. You've probably seen these before <laughs> in many places. It's good for driving in screws, hence the name. So I've seen several videos going around of people using the Kwanda effect to make a screwdriver hover. And the idea is kind of the same thing. You blow air on it, air passes over, it creates low pressure, it just holds it up. It looks like witchcraft. So we're gonna see if we can get that to work. Uh, what? All right, now let's see if we can get an egg to hover on compressed air. <laughs> that was almost a very short experiment. Yeah! Oh! Right now. That's so scary to try and grab. So the problem that we were having is that Nate was just able to balance an actual full egg, but it was too heavy for the vacuum. He was able to do that on the air compressor. But this is a hollow egg. I just hollowed this out at the sink. So it's about the same weight as one of our ping pong balls. I'm just really happy with life today. Three, two, one. Wow. Slice! Oh yeah, you took a top right off of that. And then of course it went flying to the Kill Bill style. That was excellent. That was fantastic. This has been working great. I'm very excited about it. Yep. And I'm ready to move on to the leaf blower. But before we do that, we do want to talk about KiwiCo, our sponsor for today. Once again, we've got a couple of kits from them and we're going to be putting them together. Yep. I think it's another race. So hopefully you've seen us talking about KiwiCo before. KiwiCo is a STEAM program. That's science technology, engineering, arts, and math. So you sign up for the program and then they send you these amazing kits with everything you need in them once a month. So these kits actually range from anywhere from ages zero to 16 plus. So while they might be great for you, they're also amazing holiday gifts for friends, relatives, kids, nieces, nephews, whatever you want. Let's turn off the lights real quick so you can see this one. You're just gonna lift it up and let it drop. There we go. You can make mazes with this thing. You can use little string pulleys to change its direction. Cool, all right, Nate, mine's built. How's yours going? I like him, he's cute. Yes, he is. 
KiwiCo, they have monthly kits that get delivered right to your door. They have everything you need, instructions. They are a lot of fun and you get to explore different aspects of science. This one, I've got motors and gear arms and just how things physically work together. Callie, you've got like these really <laughs> cool things showing off like electricity and glowing and the double pendulum effect from when you have one pendulum hanging from another pendulum. It's wildly unpredictable in its patterns and you can get it to draw on this glow in the dark. It, you, ha you start with a perfect circle and then it just goes crazy from there and it's <coughs> so cool to see you guys. So guys, if you would like to get your very own KiwiCo subscription box, go to kiwico.com slash TKOR and those who sign up with our link can actually get their first box for free. So go ahead, <laughs> click down in the description, get started making these cool projects. Let's try this with a ping pong ball. First, can you fix my hair? Thank you. Looks good. <laughs> All right, ping pong ball. Ping pong ball. Ping pong. Nice. Look at that angle. That got like past 45 degrees, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, so that's uh, definitely looking possible. Let's try the styrofoam. All right. Big basketball. Let's try it. Let's make a home dunk with it. All right. Go, my favorite sports team, go. Thanks again to our sponsor, KiwiCo. Click the link down in the description or go to kiwico.com slash TKOR. Sign up today and get your very first subscription box for free. <laughs> Guys, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. Click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. <laughs>